welcome to the WTFFF 3D Printing Podcast, Ask Anything, Episode 3, where designers and hosts Tom and Tracy Hazard answer your questions about the who, where, why, how, and what of fused filament fabrication. Hi, this is Tom. And Tracy. And we're the hosts of WTFFF 3D Printing Podcast. And this is our Ask Us Anything segment. Well, almost anything. Yeah. Well, uh, today's question comes in from uh, Lino, who's an industrial designer in Venice Beach, California. And he called in over our website, and you hit the Ask Us tab, and our website's hasdesign.com, Ask Us tab, and you go down to our speak pipe link, which is just a button that you push, and you use your computer or your phone, and you just speak into it, and then just ask us, ask us anything about 3D printing. So uh, Lino asked us, um, what kind of 3D printer is better? Uh, an FFF uh, or FDM uh, type of machine which uses filament or a uh, an SLA resin type of 3D printer like the Form 1 Plus. So, I mean, we should explain. We've had, although we are really talking about FFF, FDM here, it's not that we think that there's a better or worse. It's just actually what we're talking about here because we think they're a little better for making end product. Well, I, I think the reality is that depending on what it is you're going to make. Yeah. Uh, one printer might be better for you than another. And for us, uh, we're actually designers as well, and for us, color is very important, and having a print come off of the printer in the final color that yeah. you're trying to make it in, for us was something that's very important. Yeah, we didn't I mean, want to have to deal with post-finishing processes. Exactly. We didn't want to paint. We didn't want to do any of that. We have done that before with SLA process, but you know, over the years we prototyped that way for with various clients and other things. So it's not like we haven't done it that way and then painted it or finished it, post-finished it or whatever. So we've done them maybe with more expensive machines and now they're great desktop machines. And we've seen some great prints come off the Form 1. I mean, that is an Absolutely. awesome machine for the the price. So, so that's, I think, the key difference. The quality that you get from the Form 1 is very consistent. Yep. And that printer is very easy in terms of plug and play to get up and running. Those are, yeah. I think, and the And I'm kind of excited aspects. about the new Carbon 3D, too. So that one is pretty pretty amazing, too. So not only is it good, but it's fast. Yeah, and from all reports, that's the fastest yeah. one, although it's not available as yeah. of this time. It's only been reported but in the media. But if your point is to really make, you know, uh, prototypes that you know as an industrial designer you might make prototypes for your clients and you need to have them painted and finished in their finishes in their factory or in their sample shop it's a perfect the an SLA is perfectly fine for you if um, because the quality the the fineness of the quality is better but if your goal is to make end products and really do it yourself or do something that cannot be done in another manufacturing technique that can only be done 3d printed I think an FFF is better I agree the other thing that I uh, prefer about FFF printers is that um, you don't have to do anything to the part when it comes off the printer. Yeah. This is very different from an SLA printer. So if you've never used one, SLA uses a liquid resin that's cured by UV light. And even after that part is completely printed and you take it out of the printer, you have to bathe that part in an alcohol bath to clean off the remainder of resin that is uncured from it right. and also to, uh, it, it's just a sort of a curing finishing process. So even just to get whether that resin, I mean, I think the resins colors they make, you can count on the fingers of one hand yeah, as of today. Small. It's like white, black, red, clear. I think they have a rubbery one. Um, and, and there's a few more coming out, but yeah. very limited color uh, options with right. the resins and you because you have to do this post finishing with alcohol and you have to use gloves when you do it so it's it's a little messy for my yeah. taste well yeah because we're in a home office so right. it's probably not ideal for us but right. you know I think it again it's probably it's a great prototype machine I think that that's really if that's your goal then maybe this is perfect for you I think we we like the opportunity to be able to make end product and I think the FFF just really makes better end product in a variety sure. of color so and and like you said we're just not interested in being painting technicians yeah. <laughs> to to you know the art of painting a model and masking it in different areas to get it to look 
professional and the well, way you want it to. But the other the thing is we have a lot of prototype sources we've used and they're so much cheaper. I mean, we, we make entire chair bases and things at these prototype resources. So for us to make models just doesn't make sense. Right. So we just don't do that. But, but maybe anyway, you do. But anyway, it says they cliche is you know different folks for different different strokes for different folks i mean it doesn't uh, sorry i said that wrong but it doesn't really matter yeah. um which you know we're which not saying better. one's better than another yeah. we, we happen to be going down the fff route uh yeah. for valid reasons and there's there's plenty of good reasons to use those other printers uh, Absolutely. depends on what you do it's all about the what yeah exactly the what the fff to print right so anyway if you are interested in asking us a question like lino then uh, go to our website, the Ask Us tab, and click on our speak pipe and give us a one-minute message um, and question. Thanks so much, and we'll uh, talk to you next time on WTFFF.